It has been quite the journey to get to this spot right here. It is such a beautiful day out in Toronto today and I just wanted to film outside in my garden. It just didn't happen guys. It just did not happen. It took me so long. I think it took me about an hour to see if I could make it work. I couldn't make it work. <laughs> So hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna, if you are new here. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite compact wallets. Now, these, some of these are high-end and some of these are not, sorry, <laughs> are not that expensive. I'm gonna start off with the least expensive and then work my way up. Comment down below if you have any other wallets that you love. I think everyone needs to have a card holder in their collection. Now, the one that I have and I really, really like is this guy. This is the Coach card holder. I really, really like this. This is in the smooth leather. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so smooth. I love smooth leather and it still smells really good. <laughs> so this is it up close. This is in the purple. And then the navy blue. I love the stitching there. And then the back. So there's three credit card slots at the back, three at the front with the coach logo, and one there. I love this so much. I'm going to put some cards in here just so you can see how much capacity there is. And I'm also going to put some cash in here as well, just so you could see it. I've kind of stretched it out, not really. It's not like really, really stretched out because it. I still have a little bit of difficulty um, to put like, to try to put stuff inside the middle compartment if I have this full right there and then i have a bill right here and then see how i can like i need to like wiggle it in i need to like kind of force it in there there we go and there it is stuffed it's really nice and there. So that is normally what I put inside if I want to downsize. I literally just put all six cards in here and then maybe a bill if I want to. Or I could try to stuff another credit card in here. That is kind of like the maximum capacity. I got it 50% off so that's really good. So you can find amazing deals on this guy right here. If you want another card holder option that's a little bit this much smaller than that, than the Coach one, I would recommend one of these. These are the this is the Kate Spade one. This is a little shorter, as you might be able to tell. I will compare it in a bit, but here it is. This is Kate Spade. I don't know if you can see it. This is baby pink. And then the back is white. I love the scallop right here. This one is a lot smaller because there's only two credit card slots and then one slot there. In comparison, looks like that. And that tiny bit at the top there, you, the cash will stick out a little bit. And go back. I, I have an older one that I actually do stuff. I could put two credit cards here and then I think like three or four in here. But this one in particular is a little bit newer. I can only put one, I think. Let's see. Yeah. One in here and then a bill. Then it will stick out like that. It will loosen over time if you start to use it. And this one you can get in, at any outlet or any place that sells Kate Spade. And they often go on sale as well. So that is a great buy. Okay, next up 
it is this guy right here this is the coach wallet as well i don't know what it's called i think it's like a zip around one and it is small so i did feature this in my recent haul so if you want you can check that out down below also be sure to check out my other videos as well so this guy right here this opens so wide i love it so much there is a slip pocket here another one here and then the empty part for cash and coins so i fit four credit cards in that slip pocket and then another four so let me show you so i have four right here there it is that's four on each side and you do have to fold up your bill more than once so there it is in there and then it's a little stuffed but it, you can put it in so the size comparison i share with you it's almost like the same height as the kate spade one and then and that's why you have to fold your cash. So again, I got this at the outlet. And um, you can find these pretty cheap. I think I got this like for $17. 17 US dollars. So it's like 20 something dollars Canadian. And I think it's amazing. I love this guy right here. Definitely find this on sale. Find this on a an outlet or something like that that are you ready for my next two these two are just a little bit more expensive if you want some cheaper alternatives i would definitely suggest either one of these but if you want to just treat yourself you know so the first guy i was talking to you about i love this this is the louis vuitton key pouch in the monogram canvas I just did a video on my Louis Vuitton collection, so if you've seen that, you'll probably have seen these ones. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely check that out if you want, and I'll leave those down below. Okay, this is a key pouch, but I normally use this as a wallet. I love this so, so So much so this one fits a lot i was really really surprised when i filled this up to the brim this is like really 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 good if you want something that holds a lot but is really small and compact and you can hook your keys on here so let me just show you how much it actually fits so i have two four six eight nine cards here and then i'm also going to put in a little more 9 10 11 cards okay it fits like a dream and this way. i can't put all of them in at once because you know did you see that did you see that that was like nothing close it up Nothing. It doesn't even bulge. It doesn't do anything. You can fit some cash. You do have to fold it another time. You have to fold it twice. Nothing. No strain. No nothing. So the front looks the same as the back. The middle. The side. The other side. Just love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that was like 11 cards. No problem. And you can put a little bit of coins in there. Right oop, there. <laughs> so I put all the cards back in. With some cash. And the coins. I don't normally put coins in here just because it kind of bulks up this side a little bit. Like if you have too many coins, 
it bulks up too much and it just doesn't look good so I don't like doing that and for this one I don't put the keychain inside here I just don't like doing that again it bulks up so normally when I do carry this I leave this out and I hook my keys onto here and I'm good to go I highly recommend this all right so that's it love this so much one more my last pick for my favorite compact wallet my mini wallets is this guy this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch as well but this time it is in the on front version on front just means leather love it love it love it this is a little bit bigger than the one I just showed you so this is a little bit more expensive but for me I act like this as my mini wallet for sure because it holds a little little tiny bit more than the other one that I just showed you. I put back my coins in here just so I can show you. And then at the inside. And there's also a little keychain. I did say I use it mainly as a compact wallet, so I do not ever hook my keys. Well, not ever, but I don't I rarely hook my keys onto here. Here it is right now. I have, I used to have actually, I just took this bill out, but this was here before. So I had two bills and then two, four, six, eight, ten cards plus some receipts and things like that. So that is everything. And there you can also put like more than, like, I'm just add two more cards. I can't speak. Like, and it's perfectly fine. Again, it does bulge up because it is leather, so it expands. But it fits perfectly fine. I love it. So here's the size comparison between these two. Of course, one is stuffed and one is not, but you get the idea. Back. And then. This one has a gusset, so again, it expands a little bit more. And that, my friends, is my favorite wallet. So again, let me know if you have any of these wallets in your collection. And let me know what I've missed and what, I should, what other wallets I should try. I don't like bifold wallets, and I also don't really like long wallets because I do have a lot of mini bags um, and I just don't like switching between so many wallets and things you know that's just like I like it simple I love color you can see I like pink <laughs> purple but I love color when it's like not as expensive but when it's more luxury I go for it, like the blacks and the neutral colors just so just because I don't want to get tired of it and I know that like, I know myself, so I feel like I just, yeah, I love my classic colors in luxury, but when it comes to, like, high street, I just love being adventurous. So that is my tip for you. If you want to buy luxury, I think you should definitely try to go for the neutral colors just so you have it longer and it won't go out of style. But if you want to be adventurous as well, Try out these brands. I love them. Great quality as well. Like you don't have to have luxury by any means. That is not what I'm here for. But these are just the wallets that I absolutely love. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Also this. Yeah, just don't mind it.